Hughes Power System presents a seminar How to choose a correct workloader for your network. Part 1 Recloser Overview Many customers are mistaken when defining a recloser. Recloser is a set of the following components Vacuum Socket Breaker, which has a function of fault clearance, communication, which includes radio, GSM 4G, fiber. Interface, which is basically a connecting cable between protection relay and a switch module. 24 volt DC operation and 1 ampere current transformers and voltage sensors. Integrated air brake switch, that is responsible for enhanced personal safety. Protection relay, which is providing protection, quality measurement and communication. RTU functionality, built-in signal protocol DNP3, serial and IP, IEC 60870-5-101 serial, IEC 60870-5-104 IP, IEC 61850-IP. Built-in current transformers, three built-in phase current transformers and one ground current transformer, which is winded 20 to 1 for best ground fault sensitivity. Let's have a look at the history of recloser development, divided by generations. Generation 1 lasted from 1940 to 1970s and is defined by the following characteristics. Enclosed metal box construction, oil insulation and current transformer. First generation was produced by Cooper, Rayroll, Hawker Sidley and SNC. Second generation period is from 1970s to 2000. It is defined by the same characteristics except for insulation, which was changed to SF6 gas. The manufacturers were mostly the same with new players like NGK and Mitsubishi. Generation 3 started in 1980s and is still produced by some manufacturers. The enclosed box feature is still the same, but insulation was changed to air and current transformer type was replaced with Rogovsky coil. Major manufacturers are Norja Power, Tavrida and Spue. And finally the latest generation of reclosers finally moved from enclosed switch to the open poles installation from environmentally harmful SF6 gas to solid insulation and to magnetic current transformer. The manufacturers include Hughes, Cooper, ABV, Schneider and Siemens. Part 2 Important part of a recloser. Here we will look at the crucial factors that you need to consider before investing into a recloser. First factor is switch element installation. Here we have two types. First is an enclosed metal box when switch elements are inside the box. Second is discrete poles construction with switch elements installed in the open air. Let's look at the comparison table for both types. First parameter is advantages of each type. Discrete poles' big advantage is that it is repairable or replaceable in case one of the poles is damaged. It has solid insulation, no risks for explosions, and it can handle higher currents. Advantages of the enclosed box is that it's cheaper and lighter in weight in compare to other types. Second parameter is disadvantages. Discrete poles are expensive and larger than the enclosed box. For enclosed construction, the disadvantages are risk for explosions inside the metal box, which makes it non-repairable in case of lightning or internal fault. Third parameter is insulation. For discrete poles, it's epoxy or silicone, which gives an excellent protection against UV radiation or installation faults. For enclosed box, it's air or SF6 gas, which has a risk of gas leakage and is harmful for the environment. And lastly, you can see the list of the manufacturers which produce reclosers with discrete poles, such as Hughes, ABB, Siemens, Cooper and Schneider. And the list of manufacturers that produce reclosers with an enclosed metal box, like NGK, Mitsubishi, Tavrida, Norja Power, Hoka Sidley and Spool. Let's move to the second important factor when choosing a right recloser – current measurement device. Here we have two types, 
Rogowski Coil Current Transformer, which is measuring ampere in millivolt and is effective in very high current measurement, and Magnetic Current Transformer, which is measuring ampere in ampere and is effective in low and medium current measurement. Let's look at the parameters for both types. First is overview of a magnetic current transformer. Its advantages are a very accurate measurement and easy to use. The disadvantages of magnetic current transformer is that it's expensive and has a limited range due to its magnetic core. Next parameter is technology. Magnetic current transformer uses an iron core and output signal of 1 or 5 ampere. The manufacturers that are producing reclosers with magnetic current transformer include Hughes, ABB, Siemens, Cooper and Schneider. Now we will have a look at the parameters of Rogowski coil current transformer. The strong sides are that it's linear over a wide range and it's cheap. The weak sides are that it has low sensitivity because it measures 1000 ampere in millivolt and it has poor compatibility with different types of protection relay. The technology behind Rogowski coil is an air-winded coil without a magnetic core and measuring is thousands of ampere in millivolt. And lastly, the manufacturers that produce reclosers with Rogowski coil are NGK, Mitsubishi, Noja Power and Tavrida. Here you can see the results of the actual measurement performed in order to evaluate the measurement errors for both types. As you can see for magnetic current transformer, the phase current measurement error 600 to 1 CT was only 0.63 ampere, when in case of Rogowski coil it was 11 ampere. Next is earth current measurement error 600 to 1 CT in residual group. For magnetic current transformer it was 0.1 ampere and in case of Rogowski coil it was 2 ampere. This factor is very important especially for isolated neutral type of network as almost 90% of the faults are below 2 ampere. Let's move to the third factor in choosing a right recloser operating mechanism. Here we have two main types magnetic and spring operating mechanisms. In general magnetic operating mechanism can only be opened without load in the line once. Also, it needs electrical power to close or open with load. For spring operating mechanism, you can perform trip-close trip under full load in your line and it can be operated and manually recharged. Let's have a closer look at first type, spring operating mechanism, also called stored energy system. Basically, the biggest advantage is that you can still operate your switch module as many times as needed in case a protection relay is damaged or stolen. Operation trip close trip can be performed with full load manually with the help of hook stick without any electrical supply. It can be also manually recharged with the same hook stick as many times as needed. Next advantage is that it has a simple and very reliable design. Next, much higher contact pressure, which is equal to less risk for contact welding and handle and higher short circuit with a range from 16 to 25 kiloampere. If you look at the primary substations breakers, they use the same spring mechanism due to its proved reliability and much higher contact force. Moving next to the disadvantages. The stored energy mechanism is normally a little bit slower at fourth short than a magnetic actuator as it needs to recharge automatically its springs. This type of mechanism is also more expensive than others. The manufacturers that are using spring mechanisms in their reclosers are Hughes, Mitsubishi and NGK. Let's have a closer look at the second type of operating mechanism called magnetic. Magnetic type strong point is that it's simple and very cheap design. It can be used for single and triple phase strip and it has maximum 12.5 kA short circuit. The weak point is low contact pressure and risk for contact welding. It relies on discharge of one set of capacitors and it can only trip the switch manually without any load. The manufacturers that are using this type of operating mechanism include ABB, Hawker Sidley, Siemens, Cooper, Mitsubishi, NGK, Noja Power and Tavrida. Moving to the fourth important factor when choosing a right recloser – internal resistance. Here we have low capacity 
vacuum interrupters, which generally characterized with high internal resistance, more than 50 microohm, and low short circuit capacity. It also has a short life in a troubled network, which makes life cycle costs quite high. Another type is high capacity vacuum interrupters. Their strong point is that it has less than 25 microohm internal resistance and can take high level of short circuit current. It has a long operating life, which gives it a low life cycle cost. We continue to the next very important factor in reclosers – control device or protection relay. Majority of manufacturers provide remote control and non or only partial remote configuration. In order to perform update of operational data or firmware, the service engineer needs to do it locally and go to the pole site. Hugh supplies protection relay which has full remote control, complete remote configuration and firmware update. The protection relay engineer can manage all installations and updates from his office remotely. Moving forward to the next important factor – personal safety. All other manufacturers do not provide built-in air brake switch, which means that it needs to be installed separately on another pole. Hughes provides optional integrated air brake switch, which gives three visible open points for enhanced personal safety of linemen. This option has lower cost in compared to a separate device. And finally, the last very important factor in choosing a right recloser – switch module material. As you might know, the biggest problem for outdoor equipment is corrosion. Low-grade stainless steel is a common solution for many suppliers because of its low price. Unfortunately, this type of material doesn't provide proper protection and requires painting in order to prevent corrosion. Hughes uses only premium quality marine-grade stainless steel with thickness of 5 mm, which is not only 100% corrosion-free, but also an environmentally friendly option as it doesn't need painting. This robust material will guarantee you maintenance-free life. We hope this information was useful for all of you looking into automation of your network with the help of reclosers. For more information, please go to our website www.hugspowersystem.com.